good morning students and welcome to today's maths class so in the previous class we completed with the uh, chapter addition correct so we completed the chapter addition and we did a quick revision and addition in the last class so today what we'll do is we'll start with the next chapter that is shapes okay so shapes what are shapes shapes are plain closed figures okay they are plain closed figures which you observe every day in in different objects so we have so many different shapes correct we have a triangle we have a square we have a rectangle and we have an oval shape we have stars kite these are all different shapes all right so what all shapes you all have studied in first standard we have studied squares rectangles triangles and circle so you'll have studied that a rectangle has four sides and it does not and all its four sides are not of the same length two sides are short and two sides are long this is what you've studied about a rectangle and then you'll have seen a triangle you'll have seen that a triangle has three sides correct then a square what is a square a square has four sides which are all the same all the four sides in a square are same correct and then you all have seen what is a circle a circle goes round and round even if you turn it round and round the shape will remain the same and it has only one curved surface and it does not uh, end its edges never end okay so that is what you all have learnt about these four different shapes right so let's see a few questions on what you have already learned previously okay so here the warm up activity join the shape to the correct name count and write the number of each so we have to first see here they have shown you on this rectangle they have joined that rectangle to its name so this is a the name of rectangle is r e c t a n g l e so they have joined this rectangular to that with an arrow mark drawing a line like this so you have to join all the shapes with the correct name first and then count the number of each shape and write okay so first we'll start with this which shape is this it's a circle so we'll join the circle to its name like this so this is a circle then which shape is this it is a triangle correct it is a triangle so we'll join that shape with the name triangle so where is triangle triangle is over here so this is you join the triangle okay and then this what is this shape it is a square so square is here you will join the square here then which shape is this this is a circle so join it to the circle like this draw it neatly don't make it look like a mess you have to draw it neatly okay then what is this shape it is a rectangle so where is a rectangle a rectangle is here so you draw it like this make sure your lines don't join like this how i have drawn make sure they look separate okay and then which shape is this? this is a triangle okay so join the triangle okay so that's a triangle then again you have a circle okay you have a circle and this is a rectangle correct so uh, please you all draw it neatly it is, doesn't look neat like this you all draw it neatly okay see how they've joined neatly with a straight line from the rectangle to its name okay so first one is a circle this is a triangle this is a square this is a circle this is a rectangle this is also a square again this is a rectangle this is a square and this is a triangle correct so join their names to the shape now they have told count the number of shapes also for first count how many square rectangles are there how many rectangles are there this is one this is two and this is three so we have how many rectangles we have three rectangles then squares how many squares are there this is one two so we have total two squares then circles how many circles are there one two and three so circles is three and then triangle how many triangles are there one and two triangles so the number of triangles is two 
okay and then circle the color the circles red rectangles yellow squares blue and triangles green so you have to color the square uh, shapes with different colors so you have to color the circles with red so color circles red like this okay color the circles red Okay, so all the circles you color in red. Alright, so then next one. Rectangles you have to color yellow. So wherever rectangles are there, color them yellow. So this is yellow. So color with yellow. So this is a rectangle. Then we have one more rectangle here. So three rectangles are there. You have to color them with red, uh, yellow. I have colored only a little bit of the uh, rectangles. You have to co color it completely and neatly. Okay, then squares blue. So, you have to color the squares blue. So, color the squares blue like this. Okay, so there is one more square here. Then there is one square here. So, three squares are there. You have to color all the three squares blue. And then they have to color the triangles green. So, all the triangles you have to color green. So, green color like this okay so completely fill the shapes with color and complete it okay so complete this part for your homework coloring you'll do for homework next next is something called plain shapes let's see what are plain shapes first and then we'll come back to the textbook so plain figures what are plain figures they are nothing but flat shapes okay which have only two dimension they are called 2d shapes or plane figures so 2d is a flat plane figure or a shape that has two dimensions one is the length and the width so there are many 2d shapes so there is a triangle a triangle as you all know has three sides then we have something called a pentagon a pentagon has how many sides as you see here it has one two three four five sides then we have a rectangle you all know how many sides a rectangle has it has four sides then circle a circle is never straight it is always around and it has only one round surface or side then we have a square how many sides does a square have it has four sides then we have a hexagon how many sides does a hexagon have it has six sides okay one two three four five six then we have an octagon how many sides does an octagon have it has eight sides one two three four five six seven and eight then we have an oval shape oval shape again it's like a curved surface only like a circle okay and egg is an example for a oval shape so the, these are different 2d shapes now see here circle a circle is round it has one side and no corners okay a circle is round it has one side and no corners a circle has no corners and it is round it is not straight correct and it has one side they are telling which one side the round side that is there that is the only one side it has okay so the different examples of circle which you see every day around you are a wheel a, a wheel of a bullock cart or any carts or tires of cars motorcycles these are all circle in shape then moon when the moon is full the full moon it is circular in shape then sun a sun also looks like a circle only and then your coins your one rupee coin two rupees five rupees coins these are all circle in shape okay and then we'll see about a triangle a triangle has three sides and three corners okay you know how a triangle looks like correct so it has three sides and three corners what is the meaning of corners i'll show you what is corners so as you see this uh, see the shape of the triangle here now these pointy ends that are there these are called corners these are the corners of a triangle where two sides meet they are called corners so a triangle has one two and three corners as you can see a circle is never ending okay it is only one edge so it has no corners and triangle has three corners correct so it has three sides and 
three corners. Then various examples of a uh, triangle are uh, these chips. Okay, triangular chips. Then signs, tra traffic signs. Then watermelon. When you cut it like this, it look like a triangle. Then pizza. Pizza is also triangle shape. Okay. Then we have a square. What is a square? We know that a square has four sides and all its four uh, uh, all the sides are of the same length correct all the sides in a square are of the same length see this is how a square looks like here all the sides of a square are of the same length are same means they are of the same length okay so now a square has four sides and it has four corners these are the four corners one corner is here the other corner is here three and this is four so it has four sides and all uh, four sides and four corners and all the four sides are equal so examples for square is a chess board a chess board is square in shape then a wooden frame or a photo frame is also square in shape then rectangle what is a rectangle a rectangle has four sides okay a rectangle also has four sides just like a square okay it also has four corners see here this is one corner this is two this is three and this is four it has four sides four corners but all its sides are not equal only the opposite sides are equal which are the opposite sides here now if i take this side then its opposite side will be this okay this entire side is its opposite side so these two are of equal length okay so these are the two long sides and they are equal then we have this side the short side and this is equal to this they are opposite to each other so they are equal okay so this is a rectangle an example for a rectangle is a blackboard or a door a door is rectangular in shape okay then we saw uh, uh, these are not very important for you all but i'll just tell you all these shapes one is a pentagon a pentagon has five sides and five corners okay so the black color part of the football that you see it is a pentagon shape and then a dog house a dog house also looks like a pentagon then a hexagon a hexagon has six sides and six corners okay it has six sides and six corners so examples of hexagon are the stop sign okay and then a honeycomb where honey is made that honeycomb also they have small small hexagon shapes like this Okay, so these are the different plane figures. Okay, so plane shapes. The shapes that we have studied in class 1 such as rectangle, square, triangle and circle are called plane shapes. There are many more plane shapes that you may have seen. You will learn them in your higher classes. Okay, let us revise them. So your pentagon, hexagon, what I showed you just now, you learn them in higher classes so the properties of basic plane plane shape so a rectangle as i told a rectangle has four sides and four corners the opposite sides are equal then we saw a square a square has four sides and four corners and all its sides are equal correct then a triangle a triangle has three sides and three corners and these sides can be of any length it's not necessary they have to be of equal length they can be of any length then a circle okay a circle has no sides and no corners okay so these are the four basic shapes then practice time now first question count the number of shapes of each type and write them in the boxes give one color to each shape so here they have given you a design here you have to count the number of shapes of each type so number of circles number of triangles number of squares and number of rectangles and write them here and then you have to give a color to each shapes okay and then you have to color them now first circles let's count how many circles are there so how many circles can you all see see if you'll see here the number of circles you can see the eyes of this are circles so this is one circle and this is two circles correct so the number of circles is two so here in this box you all can write two 
and then which color you want to give for the circles you can color the circles orange okay color the circles orange okay and then triangles how many triangles are there now let's count the number of triangles so this one triangle which looks like the head of the uh, sorry let me just write the answers again so we saw the number of circles as 2 correct so number of circles is 2 so we'll write 2 here and then we we took the color for circle as orange color the circles orange all right and we are counting the number of triangles so how many triangles are there so this is one triangle this is two correct so this is three then its legs also look like a triangle so four this is five then this one big triangle that is there that is six then these two hands seven eight so how many triangles are there in total one two three four five six seven eight so triangles are eight so what color will you all give the triangles you'll color the triangles blue okay color the triangles blue then you have to see uh, squares next so how many squares are there here so we have a square here so one then this is two okay then this is three and this is four okay so how many squares are there there are four squares so next two squares in this box you will write four and then the color of the squares what color it should be it should be green color color the squares green okay then rectangles let's count how many rectangles are there so here we have its mouth as a rectangle so this is one rectangle this is two and this is three correct so we have three rectangles so there are three rectangles and color the rectangles red okay red or uh, yeah color it red okay so color the rectangles red so number of circles is two number of triangles is eight number of squares are four and number of rectangles are three and what are the colors that we have given to each shape circles is orange color triangles is blue color squares is green color and rectangles is red color so color these colors for all these shapes okay so complete this coloring for your homework so this coloring what is there on this page and the coloring what was there on the first page of the lesson 1105 so complete that coloring for your homework and then we'll study what are solid shapes in the next class okay we'll do solid shapes in the next class and we'll go further with whatever is there in the textbooks uh, okay so we'll see the different shapes and their names and then okay and different examples for these shapes all right students thank you i'll see you all in the next class thank you so much